Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel good from morning. Valley View Farms. We're loaded for bear. We've got all kinds <laughs> of stuff here, tools and aerators and spreaders and bags of stuff. It's all related to the lawn. I know, and it's amazing because it can be a little overwhelming. There are so many products out there. Some are organic, some aren't. Some, you, some of these you can use with seeding, some you can't. So we're going to try to make it simple, but we always say, read the label. If you're going into a garden center, ask for help. I mean, the people there are trained. Um, they're going to be able to help you through whatever questions One, you may have. One is a safety issue to make yep. sure you're using the, the product correctly. And two, that the product is going to do what you what you want it to do. Exactly. This stuff isn't cheap. I mean, really, it, yeah. it, it's, it takes some time to get everything up to par, especially if you're starting from kind of a ground zero with a, a bad lawn. Um, so we usually say start here with the soil. Make sure your soil's in good shape. We We've mentioned a couple about, weeks ago at the soil test, uh, you know, yeah. on, your, on, on the soil on the ground just to make sure that it's good for the grass. So if you did that already, then get some of the Magical down or some something that's going to bring your pH in line. And then anytime you can feed the microbes and feed the soil, uh, it's going to help your line out in the long run. Mm -hmm. um, that's the natural way. That's the it. natural yeah. way. So this is the second best time to grow grass seed, right? <laughs> right? Okay. So uh, most of these grasses can be used. It's the only time that the state of Maryland is going to let you use a fertilizer that has phosphorus in it because phosphorus helps get the root going. Uh, right. But phosphorus is often locked up in soils, so the only time we really suggest it for the lawn is when you're seeding or sodding. Right. Um, and then I guess just our next... Just to get it going. Just to get it rolling, yep. So then our next big issue this time of year is crabgrass. Um, I'm pretty lucky. I didn't have too much of it last year. How about you? Well, I, I, I'm minimal. Okay, good. Minimal. So if you have bare spots, you have to be a little careful, and you might have to use a crabgrass preventer that's, that's suggested for new lawn seeding. It's going to cost you three to four times as much as the fertilizer with just the crabgrass preventer. So again, know, kind of know the chemistry back there, or don't be afraid to ask questions. Again, the, the label's important because you don't want to put something down and then it prohibits the grass seed from growing. Right. Yeah, yeah the granddaddy of, of them all, Scott's, um, does have a product in their step one that you can use with grass seed, but otherwise you're going to want to be careful. And there are organic methods that you can use, mm -hmm. um, like corn gluten that are going to keep things from coming up. And then the other product we have down here is from Greenview. This will also prevent broadleaf weeds as well as grass seed. But watch the labels. Some of them you need to apply wet, some of them you need to water in. So definitely read everything before you get started. Right, because even at this time of year, when the, the lawn is just coming back, there are a lot of weeds in there. Yeah, there, there can are. be. Uh, yep. They winter over, they keep going, and then they multiply really quickly. So you want to try to control them so that the grass has a chance exactly. to do its thing. Now, if you're seeding too, this time of year, the, the reason it's the second best is because when you get into the hot months, that new grass really hasn't got great roots yet. It's still working on that. Right. And it can dry out quickly. That's true. And when you seed, you have to water pretty much every day at first. But even as you said, as you get into the hot summer, you're going to have to go out and kind of check it out. Um, most of these will go dormant, so we don't want to overdo it. But that new grass seed, you want to make sure they've developed a good root system so they can sustain the summer heat. Okay. Now. During the summer, we'll come back every once in a Absolutely. while and address the yard and everything else and see how our yards are doing. <laughs> Sounds good. And next Sunday, we'll be back with more on Sunday Gardener, and we'll see you then. Thanks, Gary. Thank you.